Hello and welcome to The Forge. I'm the Artsmith and today I'm back to give you some more Pokemon content. If you haven't seen my other videos for this region, I recommend checking them out. To catch up to speed, I'm making a Fakemon region based on the West Coast USA, where prehistoric Pokemon can be fully restored. Today I'm delivering on the poison type you guys voted on in the last poll. You can participate in those if you subscribe to the channel, maybe? Some of you might know that I have had this concept for this Fakemon on the back burner since my first poll back in October. Now, poison types have a few distinguishing features that set them apart from other types. If they're based on an animal, it's usually an animal that's well known for its venom or other toxic traits. We've got snakes, spiders, sea urchins, pufferfish. Sometimes it's a literal pile of toxic sludge. Sometimes it's a dinosaur with a poisonous flower on its back. Needless to say, when you look at any given poison type, it's incredibly obvious what type it represents. Most of them have the color purple implemented into their design. As is par for the course at this point, I wanted to provide my own spin on what a poison type could be. Personally, when I think of poisons and venoms, I think of the color green. I also wanted to focus on a type of poison Pokemon hasn't touched yet, diseases. When it comes to the prehistoric element of this Pokemon, I know there's one that immediately jumps into your heads, especially if you've seen Jurassic Park. It's iconic, the Dilophosaurus spitting venom. Nope. My concept isn't based on anything that specific or well-known. During my research, I was looking at pictures of a Pteranodon and thought, huh, that kind of looks like a Plague Doctor's mask. So let's see how all these ideas aid each other in a final design. I came into this design process with a pretty solid concept, combining a Plague Doctor with a Pteranodon. I knew that I wanted its evolved form to push how off-putting a Plague Doctor can be leaving room for this form to just be a cute little guy. Despite the simple concept, this design took me a while to iron out, as is the case for, like, every Pokemon I make at this point. I latched onto how Pterosaur's wings had more in common with bats than birds. Then I started to think about flying squirrels, and I decided I wanted the flesh between this fake mon's limbs to resemble the cloak that a Plague Doctor might wear. I was trying my hardest to make it a quadruped like a flying squirrel, but no matter how I tried, the whole thing just looked off. So, I went back and focused on simplicity. He's wearing a cloak, so let's emphasize that part of his design. What if he's also wearing his loose skin like a hood? Oh, and let's have him standing on two legs. Give him some feathers resembling a tie on his chest and a tail, and boom. We have a little germaphobic traveler. <laughs> I named this little dude Bactyl, combining the words bacteria and pterodactyl. Pterodactyl was a rather small pterosaur, and plague doctors combated diseases. I'm really happy that I stuck it out with this design. Ever since my last video, I've been pushing myself to embrace simplicity. A lot of you guys said that Chris Dog was your favorite Fakemon I've made so far, and I made that line in two days on a whim. And it's evident with this design too, I do my best work when I just sit back and make what feels right. Bactyl, the germaphobe Pokemon. Growing up in toxic environments, such as power plants and oil spills, this Pokemon has evolved to protect itself from harsh pollutants and germs. Therefore, a murder of Bactyls is a common sight within densely populated cities. It can use its loose skin as makeshift wings in order to glide. However, most of its time is spent on the ground. They are often regarded as disease-carrying vermin. If a trainer gets sick, they might be surprised to find a wild Bactyl lingering near them. If they pay close attention, they may find that their illness goes away faster with it nearby. This next Fakemon is another example of me overthinking a design just for me to wise up and do what's simple. Initially, I wanted Bactyl to evolve into a gas mask wearing, toxic gas spewing prop plane. I tried several variations. The first was way too stiff, so I tried again by sketching how I wanted the Fakemon to look from the side. Then I tried a more dynamic and plane-like pose. I gave it some vents for the gas to spew out of, and everything still felt like it wasn't working. This sketch just didn't look like it came from the little hooded guy I drew before. So I tried it again, this time pushing the hood and cloak concept even further. I also brought in a motif I was playing around with earlier, making its wingspan resemble a toxic hazard symbol. Add some claws that look like they're holding this cloak open, and there we have it. A simple yet effective design for a Pteranodon Plague Doctor. I named this guy Pterodoc, combining Pteranodon and, well, Doc. I hope you saw what I was going for with the dex entry for Bactyl. I wanted to make this Fakemon misunderstood by the general public. This mostly stems from my own concern for Poison-type trainers in the Pokemon world. Like, how does one justify traveling with a floating rock that leaks toxic gas? 
So I put all that bias that I had and made it the false perception people have of this line of Fakemon. Because it lingers around toxic stuff, they think that it might be unhealthy to be around. When in fact, it's the exact opposite. Bactyl and Teradoc eat toxins and bacteria. So that Plague Doctor theme really comes around full circle. Now I just want to see a Pokemon Center with a little Bactyl as the nurse's assistant. Teradoc, the Toxivore Pokemon. Regarded as a harbinger of disease and poison, extreme efforts are implemented to drive away wild Teradoc from civilized areas. This Pokemon has been given a bad reputation based on circumstantial evidence. In actuality, Teradoc feeds on toxic fumes and diseases. Some experts hypothesize that this Pokemon could be an incredible aid to hospitals by revolutionizing medicine. However, every attempt to test these theories has mysteriously disappeared. So that was my take on a line of poison-type Fakemon. We have a little burb that eats germs, who evolves into a pterosaur that eats even more germs. They're both seen as pests, but that couldn't be more false. I wonder why every attempt to clear their public perception is quickly squashed. Hmm. What do you think? Would you add Bactyl to your team? I'm trying to make these videos more consistently, so please be sure to like and subscribe and all of those things, so I can continue to make more of these. I'll be sure to post a poll so you guys can vote on what you want to see next. Anyway, recommend any dinosaurs or other extinct creatures you would like to see. And if you want, throw in some type combos you think would be cool too. Make sure to go watch my other Fakemon videos if you haven't yet. This has been the Artsmith, and thank you for coming to the Forge.